house was a sad looking building, maybe once owned by Edgar Allan Poe, now inhabited by various vermin, a sorry excuse for a home. It was dismal and it was bleak, in the final stage of demise, but the eyes of the old man taking the tour opened about twice their size. The tree out front was all gnarly, twisting toward the front porch. A huff and a puff and the tree would come down in a heap where the sidewalks merge. The rope hanging from its branch long ago once held a swing and the children who used to play there would fly through the air and would sing. On the swing we will fly, back and forth we will fly, fly up to the sky, fly up so high on the swing we will fly. On the swing we will fly, back and forth we will fly, fly up so high into the sky, and never say goodbye. Now the front door is barred, there's nobody there, just fading echoes of memories as the car turns and disappears. The old man in the back turns his head and slowly heaves a sigh. A tear forms in his eye and he softly whispers goodbye. On the swing we will fly back and forth we will fly, fly up to the sky, fly up so high on the swing we will fly, on the swing we will fly, back and forth we will fly, fly up to the sky, fly up so high, and never say goodbye. Fly up so high into the sky And never say goodbye